Hey, this is Jason with Powerboat Magazine, hanging out at the 2010 Miami Boat Show with uh, Nick and Todd from Statement Marine. Um, last year I had a chance to uh, check out these guys with the brand new 42 Ultimate. And now they're inside at the show showing off a 50 cat and a new 42 V-bottom. Um, Todd, tell me about uh, how the show's been so far this year. Um, if I had to write a script that I wanted the most perfect, awesome finish to uh, the Miami Boat Show, I couldn't have it any, wrote it any better than what we actually got as a reception from, from all of the customers. And obviously beyond, okay, we got these new Mercury engines that are a lot of talk. The buzz is you guys, being right here in the middle of the show, from a, a, a race car simulator and everything else. Did you guys think the expectations, what expectations do you have? Do you think you can meet them like you did? Expectations this is definitely uh, above our expectations what the show is going to be. I mean, we expected to come inside after last year being outside, work our way inside. Um, opportunity to be in here was, was incredible. Um, the simulator, there's the boats, everything just brought it together and it's it's been a, an emotional time for us since we've gotten here. I mean, the, the, the reviews that the people have gave and the amount of people coming through has just been, it's been overwhelming. It's been uh, very nice. Um, and I did forget to mention this jacuzzi right here behind us. There hasn't been a single person walk up here and not go, there's a jacuzzi in what this What jacuzzi? <laughs> no, no. Oh, that one. Tell me about the idea. I know this, I, I, well, you have a pod here, right? Yes, and what what we at Statement decided, I mean, this is a big cat, so that means you've got room in it. And Nick and I sat there and discussed over, I'm not sure if it was a little rum or a little beer or what it was, but we're sitting there making all these designs and so on and just bouncing things back and forth. And he says, you know, we need to come up with something, an area between the motors, which is a waste of space that really everybody else reserves for batteries. Now, the beauty of our design is, we can pull the jacuzzi out, or the customer can pull the jacuzzi out, and replace it with six different designs. So you can change, if you're going to the Lake Cumberland Poker Run one weekend, since the jacuzzi's on every boat, that you're, that you're living in the boatels, have a jacuzzi in your own, go to Party Cove, make your own jacuzzi, make your own party. Next weekend, maybe you've got uh, a lot of friends coming in town, you only got six seats. Well, let's drop in a rumble seat. You can put five or, seats, five or six seat pod that goes back in there and drops in. So now you can replace it, these different pods, these different party pits, and uh, you, can, you can make a lounge on one side and a bar or a galley on the other side. You can have a full wraparound couch with a brass pole for exercise if you want. You know, and uh, whatever else you can think of, we'll build it and we'll put it in there and you can buy all six designs or however many we have next year. Now obviously that, that's some different beyond the party pit, but tell me about what went into the design of this boat. The, the bottom is like nothing else, right? So talk yes. a little bit about that. Well, since we're somewhat restricted by basic logic and common sense to a 12-foot boat, wide load, you can only tilt it so much, on and on and on. The basics are you can get a 70, 72, 74 inch tunnel and that's about all you get. So we came up with the idea of widening the nose of it into the sponsons and let it carry the air all the way back and then squeeze it together at the CG point which is your balance point. So now you just created a, a theoretical wider air tunnel getting more air in so the boat will lift and get on top of the water faster and it will also at a higher speed stay running because it's got a little flatter roof to it. You know, there's a lot of engineering that was that was put into it but it should have a wider spectrum to getting up on a plane or getting up on top of the water and also going to a higher speed. So that, that's the quick general concept of what's behind the tunnel. Cool. Anything else Nick? That should about do it. Appreciate your time. Yeah, thanks for and, your time. Uh, looking Can't wait to check to, out this boat, too. Yeah, looking forward to see what tomorrow brings with Statement. Yep, cool. More to come. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you.